If you're ever curious of what a root canal entails, Let's talk about it in flower term. Now we hope that your teeth is generally healthy, kind of like this plant. You see you have some healthy leaves, you got a nice little flower here, and then you have a few that are a little bit suspect. For the healthy green leaf, it's gonna be the crown of the teeth. And then you have the stem, which is the root. And then inside the stem is a tiny little tube that helps bring out the nutrients, that keeps the plant living, and that is the pulp of our teeth. And then the soil is gonna be the jaw, which anchors all our teeth to keep it in place. Now, like some of these that are, you know, dying, that means that there's some type of infection or disease going on inside the plant. The tiny tube, which we call the pulp inside our tooth, is actually holding all the nerves and all the blood vessels that keep our teeth alive. And if there's an infection or disease going on, that needs to be taken care of. Most dentists will do this procedure, but if not, they will refer you to an endodontist. They're the guys that are specialized in root canals. What they'll do is they're gonna access the pulp of the tooth and clean out all the bad stuff that's causing a lot of that disease or infection in the tooth. Now, after they clean out the pulp, they're going to also put in a filling that hopefully prevents any infection in the future. As for a flower, you would normally just snip off part of the stem and hopefully a new bloom will arise and you'll be all good. Not the same for our teeth because crowns don't just grow <laughs> or regrow. If anything, sometimes the specialist will be able to drill a hole onto the tooth and just only access the, the pulp. But sometimes if the crown is not salvageable, then they'll just make a new crown for you. Now, once your tooth is taken care of, the root canal is completed, you're not gonna feel anything because there won't be any nerves to feel. Even though you may not feel anything in that tooth, it's still good to have because we need our teeth to help with eating and talking and hopefully to not have gaps or any spaces. But always make sure you're going to your appointments twice a year to make sure there is nothing going on. Just like caring for plants, we want to keep your teeth healthy too.